This is TV Platinum. Here are the top five stories making the headlines. On number one, the late Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Taurid Lagwaja, will be laid to rest in Abuja on Friday. This announcement was made by his elder brother, Moshud Lagwaja, during a condolence visit by the St. Charles Grammar School Oshugu Old Boys Association in Oshugu, Ocean State. Moshud revealed that while the military has not yet released Lieutenant General Lagwaja's remains to the family, they have assured the family that he will receive a dignified military burial in Abuja. During the visit, a condolence letter signed by Scoba's Global President Tade Adekunle and General Secretary Leye Odeto Inbo was presented to the Lagwaja family. The delegation was led by Engineer Adeshino Salami, the first Vice President of Scoba. On number two, President Bala Tinubu and Governor Babagide Sonwulu of Lagos State have both acknowledged the socioeconomic hardships facing Algerians, assuring that relief is on the way. Speaking on Monday, Tinubu emphasized that while his government is committed to the right path, solutions to complex national issues require time. Governor Sonwulu called on Algerians to continue praying for the country's leaders describing them as determined individuals working to navigate through challenging times. President Tinubu, who was represented by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Senator George Akume, made these remarks at the 70th birthday celebration of Pastor Tundi Bakari, organized by the Citadel Global Community in Lagos. On number three, after extended negotiation, the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ipman, announced on Monday that an agreement has been reached with Dangote Refinery for its members to directly lift petrol from the facility. The agreement, which includes the lifting of diesel and kerosene, marks a new collaboration between Ipman and the refinery. Ipman's national president, Abubakar Megandi Shatima, urged members to support the Dangote Refinery as it will bolster Nigeria's economy. Shatima explained that after meeting with Aladi Aliku Dangote, and his top management team in Lagos, the association is pleased to initiate this partnership. Previously, some Ipman members had preferred to import petrol in competition with Dangote Refinery's products. On number four, the federal government has stepped in to prevent a potential nationwide strike by the Nigerian Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers in Peng, following an ongoing dispute with operators of the Urusetimei oil rig. The government has summoned both parties for a meeting in Abuja on Tuesday, November 12, 2024, to address grievances and seek resolution. The dispute arose last week when military personnel reportedly stormed the rig to evacuate workers, many of whom were Nupeng members, while others were allegedly held against their will. In response, Nupeng threatened a strike receiving support from the Nigeria Labour Congress NLC, and the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengasan, both of whom condemned the military's involvement in an industrial issue. The NLC has demanded an investigation into the military's actions. And lastly, Lieutenant General Olufe Miluyede, the Acting Chief of Army Staff, visited the 8th Division of the Nigerian Army in Sokoto on Sunday as part of a renewed effort to address the threat posed by the newly identified terror group, Lukarawa, Oluyede instructed the troops to dismantle the group, which has reportedly been recruiting local youth in the region. The defense headquarters recently identified Lukrawas as an emerging terror group operating in the northwestern states of Kebi and Sokoto, with links to jihadist factions in Mali and Niger. The Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Uba, expressed concerns about the group's influence and potential to destabilize the northwestern area. Those are the top stories. Do subscribe and follow us across all our platforms to get more of this update.